Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to integrate Asana with Google Sheets. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Google Sheets, I want you to click the Start Free Trial option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Integrating Asana with Google Sheets can enhance your data analysis and reporting by allowing you to export and manipulate Asana task data in a spreadsheet format. Now, I find it very useful for creating custom reports, tracking progress, and performing detailed analysis. Basically, um, in Asana, you can analyze track metrics, project progress, and generate detailed reports tailored to your needs with the help of Google Sheets. Now, there are three ways for you to be able to integrate Asana with Google Sheets. Now, I want you to go to the project actions. There's going to be a drop down menu and I want you to go to export and click the option to sync to Google Sheets. Once you've done that, you see there's going to be an option that says create a Google Sheet copy and paste the link provided above and the sync with asana input on the asana exports i want you to click on the uh, link right here copy that and make sure it's exp uh, pasted on your clipboard this is very important to get the uh, link and then click this asana export option now once you have clicked the asana exports there's going to be an option that says install i want you to click on it now if you encounter a problem installing the asana exports make sure that you have number one an active and stable internet connection or you are not using vpn at the moment because these two um things can interfere with the uh, integration all right so i'm uh I'm, I'm right now i'm using the vpn so i'm going to switch it off and then as you can see the asana export has been successfully installed now let's switch back to the uh, asana now this is very important all right i am going to create a google sheet and then copy this uh link right here and then go to the asana export add-ons all right this step is very important now this is going to be my data here on google sheets all i'm going to do is go to the extensions and you should be able to see the asana export all right all I'm going to do is sync with Asana, click on that, and of course, click on install. Or click on sync with Asana. It's working. There's going to be a project here, sync with Asana. Enter project portfolio or search export link. And that's going to be this link right here that we have copied on the Asana dashboard. All right. Just remember that and click on OK. There's going to be a status bar at the bottom where it says working. And just wait for it to load because you see google sheets will allow you for a complex calculation and formulas enabling you to perform in-depth analysis on task data that may not be easily achievable within asana but once you're happy with that all you're gonna do is go to the asana dashboard Now, the status working at the bottom, you see, there's going to be a live source data that has been extracted or imported from Asana to Google Sheets, all right? Okay, so of course, from here, you can do a lot of things. You can analyze metrics, track project progress, and generate detailed reports tailored to your needs. You can build custom dashboards in Google Sheets to track progress, milestone, and overall progress. Now, I'm going to switch over again to the Asana dashboard. Now, two more options. Go to the section here that says customize and go to apps now here click on all apps okay now once you are on the apps you might want to search for google sheets if there is all right see click on the uh, google sheets and what will happen is you see, the Google Sheets plus Asana integration turns project and task into spreadsheets. 
and provides powerful reporting capabilities. This integration allows you to create custom reports and a lot more. All right. All they're going to do is click on permission. All right. And click on that. All right. So you would be able to do that since we have already created that one. Now, the next option is I need you go, to go to the homepage. I'm switching over to another workspace because in this specific workspace that I'm working, it has the browse integrations option. If I click on it, there's going to be an option for me to connect to other tools. And then from here, all I have to do is search for the Google Sheets, right? Once I've done that, you see, you're going to be able to have an option to install Google Sheets for Asana. I want you to click on it. And what will happen is you would be able to use this on this, uh, on this section, all right? Now, the last um, platform that we're going to explore is using Zapier. Now, you can connect Asana to Google Sheets and automate your work and have all these endless possibilities by clicking on this orange button. Now, you would be forwarded to another page wherein we're going to create our Zap. I'm going to rename this as this one. Go to Asana because uh, we need to select an event. In Asana, when you click an event, for example, it triggers when a task within a project or any project within a workspace is marked as completed. I want you to click on it. And then on the Google Sheets, I want you to choose an event. For example, that's going to be um, it creates a new worksheet by copying an existing worksheet or create a new column in a specific spreadsheet. It doesn't matter. All I have to do is click on change. All right. Click on connect. No, click on continue. And from here, choose of the value. All right. It's going to be my Google Drive. The spreadsheet is going to be um, how to integrate Asana with Google Sheets. Of course, the worksheet is going to be this one. You can enter the column name, go to complete this tab, and we're going to test the trigger, all right, to see if that's working. Now, all I'm going to do is authenticate these apps, and you can sit back and relax because Zapier will do the work for you. And of course, by leveraging these trends of both tools, you can improve data visibility, streamline workflows, and foster better collaboration. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.